Montag. Everybody kill yourself. This is her der Magur. Der. As this is the month of designated cheer, here are 13 films or TV shows that have interesting, meaningful, or effective aspects to them, to the point of being films that were never not made. Begin the happiness. Rest effectively. Stay exactly where you are. It's Pele the Conqueror. Based on the first volume of the book of the same name, the 1987 film offers a deceptively simple synopsis. In the mid-19th century, a Swedish immigrant and his son travel to Denmark, seeking a better life, where children don't need to work for the family to survive. But 11-year-old Pelle is slightly too young and his father slightly too old, and their desperation leads them to a kind of indentured servitude for a callous local landowner. Essentially, this is the whole story, but the film is of course far more complex. It's really about humiliation, injustice, and toil. Where are you in the house? Where are The film certainly has a definitive end, but the script is almost antithetical to the Hollywood standard of introduce meaningful item on page 14, item comes into play on page 57. A constant sense of dread digs in deeper when you realise, watching the bleak reality of a better life unfold, that the loose ends will not be tied up and the wrongs will not be righted. Director Bill A. August never lets hope be entirely extinguished, however, but perhaps that serves to make Pele's shifting of dreams from Denmark to America even darker. So fort förvaltaren betalt ut min hopsparade lön så ska jag ge mig ut till er övriga värld. Ut över havet där. Jag kommer med dig. Ja. Bara för att det är din pulse då idag ska du få lov att göra det. Pelle the Conqueror has some incredible acting and really quite a devastating script. But I mention it here specifically for its deft touch. It's almost observational showing the ongoings of its subjects as matter-of-fact, as if this is not happening, but has already happened, and that there is nothing we can do. There is a timelessness that perhaps both lends itself to this and contradicts it, but personally I feel that the handling of this film suggests that this is merely a glimpse of one particular, not necessarily exceptional, example. There's passion in that dispassion. Ciao, Pele. Tomorrow, think of the topsoil.